Now, big story coming out of this, though. We've been talking about slow play and just the problems with slow play on the PGA Tour this year. It just went to a new level this week. Bryson DeChambeau, this video's gone viral. Everyone's chipped in, Bob. This is a, a two minute, 20 second video of Bryson DeChambeau looking at an eight foot putt. Um, and now a lot has spilled out. There was confrontation between Bryson and, and, and caddies. There was uh, uh, people chiming in on Twitter. A lot has come out of this. Where do we even begin? Well, this started because earlier in the week, I think there was a lot of focus on players in the press conferences being asked about slow play. Brooks Kepka, Rory McIlroy have become the most vocal critics of it. They're really both fast players, and so they, they hate stuff like this. DeChambeau just picked the wrong week to exhibit some real... Uh, real bad slow play. He said in this situation the green book he had was different than what he was seeing and that's why he was confused. But essentially he's just the poster boy for this week. There are so many guys out there who are too slow and you get the feeling now this could have been a week where there's a tipping point where now guys are going to start to actually force the PGA Tour to either uh, either enforce the rules that are in place or find some kind of solution. Maybe it's uh, European Tour's shot clock or maybe it's Golf Canada's uh, timing gates but there's got to be some kind of an answer because the slow play is just affecting everybody. And this is really inconsiderate right here. Bryson to his, uh, uh, his two playing partners. At least he has said that he's going to try and make better. Uh, he did come out and say that he would try to be a part of the solution versus the problem. I also think it's unfair that we're fo focusing on Bryson because it's Bryson this week. And I understand, and look, I love JT looking at the watch there. But, I mean, this is J.B. Holmes. There's 80 guys out there each week doing this, not just Bryson. There is a lot of problems going on here. And one of them for me, Bob, is forget limiting the size of the green reading book. Throw them in the garbage. Ban the green reading books. Reading greens is part of being a professional golfer. I think that would speed up play. I think it's also too many bodies on the golf course. Just looking on Thursday and Friday, when we're out there, Bob, on a Thursday and Friday, calling PGA Tour Radio, those rounds are five hours because the body's on the golf course. We get to the weekend in twosomes, we get that down to four hours. There's a lot they can do. I know the PGA Tour, Tour has said they're going to look at this, but at the end of the day, somebody needs to get dinged with the penalty, as Adam Scott said, Stroke what, penalty. Stroke, stroke, stroke penalty. Stroke penalty. Hitting them in the wall is right. not going to matter. Yep, you do that. Scott said it back in January. Until you do it, nothing's going to change. There you go. There you go.